your Chris 6 weather forecast. All right, folks, here's a look at the uh, Wednesday morning uh, weather headlines for us as we'll still look at a few straight isolated showers across the region. Just like yesterday, they're going to be peppering the area. Many of us are going to miss out, but for those who do get the uh, shower and storm activity, there could be some locally heavy rain associated with some of these uh, little tropical downpours. However, deeper moisture is going to continue to move into the region later on tonight, and especially as we head into tomorrow morning. And as that happens, uh, we're going to pick up the uh, straight isolated activity to more isolated to scattered in nature as we head into Thursday right on and through the weekend and into early next week as well. So if you didn't, haven't gotten a whole lot of rain over the last couple of days, you have plenty more chances uh, with a few days ahead of us. The tropics continue to stay quiet. There is a tropical wave that's uh, now entering the western part of the Atlantic, fixing to head towards the uh, British Virgin Islands and out towards uh, parts of the Dominican Republic as well. Later on in the next couple of days, we're monitoring that. But again, it's not a threat for us here in South Texas. Right now this morning, most of the shower activity is off into the Gulf of Mexico. A few little showers now entering Kennedy County just to the uh, southwest of Baffin Bay and off into extreme portions of West Texas. We have a few showers this morning, but overall fairly quiet across the Lone Star State. So temperatures mainly into the 60s and 70s across the region. That weak little boundary that was in place already way beginning to lose its uh, punch at this point. It was in the 50s and 60s up to the north and some of them have already recuperated into the 70s and they're going to be headed into the upper 80s to low 90s just like we are here in South Texas. Overall going to be a hot day across the Lone Star State. Now, these blue colors that you see, that's a lot of dry air that you see over the region, so it's plenty dry up to the north, quite comfortable for them, but we still have a little bit of tropical moisture, and this tropical moisture is just going to continue to head up into South Texas, especially as we head into tomorrow afternoon, and that tropical moisture is going to continue to stay with us, not only through Friday, Saturday, and on into Sunday, but on into early next week as well. It's not deep tropical moisture, but it's going to be enough uh, to kick off some of those isolated to scattered showers and storms. So here's the rain chances for this week and going on into the weekend as well, even early next week. It's going to be isolated to scattered in nature. It's not going to rain all day long. It's not going to rain every day for you either. That's just the nature of isolated to uh, scattered activity. Right now, higher uh, rainfall amounts are favoring the coastal communities with the coast receiving around one to one and a half inches of rain over the next five to seven days and some of our inland communities around a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch. So that's why we're going to watch everything pretty closely. Our future tracker is showing just a couple of little straight isolated showers for this afternoon. You can see some of those uh, moving into the inland regions. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, we start off with some scattered isolated showers and those will continue to move inland and all the way into the uh, Friday morning time frame. So that's why we'll watch things pretty closely for you. As far as the potential rainfall forecast is concerned, notice that those uh, higher rainfall amounts are near the coastline. Again, one to one and a half inches. And then the farther inland that you go, the less you'll receive. But still, I think a good portion of South Texas is going to receive some rainfall. So 91 today, straight isolated in nature, 89 on Thursday and Friday, and those isolated as scattered showers and storms. Some of them could be on the locally heavy side. Stay with us all the way through next Tuesday with highs into the upper 80s to low 90s.